All right, so I, <laughs> I made this like $100 Amazon guitar sound like one of those old, you know, catalog guitars that we all vie for. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. All right, so a few months ago, I started on this project to make this guitar sound like a vintage guitar. I just wanted to see if I could do it and uh, it worked. And the best part is, it was literally free to do. It cost me nothing to do. So I'll share with you kind of how I did it and uh, play it for you so you'll see for yourself just how good this guitar can sound. A little bit of context in case you're new to this channel. I make videos about vintage instruments and the music that was once played on said instruments. Hey, and if you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. Uh, when sharing a video on my Instagram recently of me playing a Mississippi John Hurt tune on this beautiful old parlor guitar that sounds amazing, uh, I posed this question. Is vintage tone worth it? Does it make more sense to play old music on old instruments? Clearly there was no real arguing that vintage guitars and primarily the vintage one I was playing sound really good. I was half expecting some like trolley, like this guitar sounds stupid. This guitar sounds stupid. I just wanna take a second to dive into some of these points that were made really quick here. So like our blues heroes played cheap instruments. This is pretty much true, I mean, you could buy a Stella for $12 then, and you could buy one today for like 12000 if you wanted to. You could do that. The second point, do these instruments sound the same today as they did back then? Right, no, they don't. And I think um, it's actually kind of interesting because the next comment kind of, you know, dives into that further, which is, you know, the dryness and the woods they were using, they permeate through the instrument. As the instrument ages, it gets more dry, it gets less like lumber and more like a guitar. If it was like a tree for 300 years, it's been a guitar now for at least half that lifespan. So it's just now kind of starting to become what it is. That's one way to look at it. Plenty of modern companies scratch the itch for that vintage look. And I think that's true. You know, I play a Fraulini and I also play, you know, a vintage guitar that the Fraulini is inspired by. And I and I definitely take the Fraulini to gigs over the 100 year old guitar. Does it stack up and sound that old guitar though? I don't think there's anybody out there who's saying it does. But is there a way to make a new guitar sound vintage? And can you do it without spending $200 on one of those tone right things? Or like leave it in a <laughs> room with music blasting it in the guitar? Like that's the thing people do to make guitars sound like well played in. But yeah, I figured out a way to do it and all I had to do was lie to you. All right, so here's the skinny, that video where I'm playing that Mississippi John Hurt tune on that beautiful old parlor guitar. The audio is not the audio of that guitar. It is the audio of this guitar. You all hate me now. I know, sucks. Before you delete me from your YouTube, um, I want to offer just a little bit of insight into what I think is going on with this. So, it could be confirmation bias, it could be you just got plain old duped. But what I do know is this, the visual of that guitar gave you information that heightened the tone and sound of that guitar. To me, there's, there's no getting around the fact that this guitar sounds good, um, but it doesn't look like it sounds good. And the parlor just looks like it sounds better. Stay to the end because I, I want you to be the judge of that. So I want you to think about this. So there's this meme floating around out there in like the guitar repair person universe. And it's something to the effect of how do you make a guitar sound good? Give it to a guitar player, something like that. And while that's kind of like, sounds a little harsh and is kind of lame, it's like totally true. The more time you spend with this instrument or like a particular instrument, the more you'll just learn how to coax out the sound of the instrument. You know, my goal as a guitar player is that hopefully I've developed my voice enough where no matter what guitar I'm playing, it sounds like I'm the one playing the guitar. I do think there are objective things that make some guitars just sound better than others, but what would you rather listen to? Like a Greenhorn playing a 1940s Martin or like a seasoned player playing this guitar. <laughs> I love vintage stuff. I mean, obviously, if you've watched any of my videos, I like old stuff. And, and it's for that very reason that I play vintage instruments because I like old music. And an old instrument is 
one step closer to that. I mean, I don't know, it's gotta be the same reason why jazz players all play big, huge arch tops. It's that connection point where like, when you pick up that big, big old arch top, you feel connected to the lineage. You know, or like why those gypsy jazz players all play those huge guitars with those tiny little sound hole. It's a connection point. I mean, if you gave a gypsy jazz player this guitar, they would sound like a gypsy jazz guitar player. So it's on that note, I'm gonna give you the real footage of me playing this guitar, and then the actual audio of me playing that vintage 1880s Line and Healy. judge as always leave your comments and thoughts below and if you like vintage guitars you got to hear the story about this crazy guitar that i saved from savers oh my god that's coming up next